In this video, we will show you how to set up vControl Pro with Cubase and a Pro Control or Control24 unit on Mac. After installing vControl Pro, launch it and it will appear as a menu bar item. Click on the vControl Pro icon in the menu bar and select Setups. Once the main setup window opens, click on Add New in the Controller section and select Add Ethernet Device. The Ethernet Device browser opens and scans for any available Pro Control or Control24 unit on the same network. Once the unit appears, select it and click Add. Multiple units can be added at once if available. Now launch Cubase. In the menu bar, click on Studio and select Studio Setup. When the Studio Setup window appears, click on the plus sign and select DigiDesign Pro Control. If using a Control24, then select DigiDesign Control24. Click OK when done. Cubase is now connected with vControl Pro and the Pro Control or Control24 unit. If you are using Pro Control fader packs in addition to the main unit, you can increase the bank size accordingly. You can have up to four Pro Control units connected for a total of 32 tracks. To assign which bank each controller controls, open the vControl Pro Setups window. Click on the Pro Control unit that is paired with Steinberg. The bank it controls can be selected by the drop down menu. You can select between 1 through 8, 9 through 16, 17 through 24, and 25 through 32. For more information, visit nyrink.com.